Hi everyone, it's the English Summer here and welcome to a brand new Let's Play on my channel. I have decided that I want to do a Sims 3 Ambitions Let's Play and this is because Ambitions came with so much stuff. It was one of the first expansion packs of The Sims 3 but it did come with a lot of stuff and I definitely want to try and explore all the expansion packs on my channel. I know that you guys always want me to do all these different ones and I will be trying to do all of them on my channel for you guys to watch and enjoy but I decided that Ambitions was going to be my next one. So Ambitions came with a town called Twinbrook and I'll quickly read out the description. In its heyday, Twinbrook was a small industrial town at the mouth of Sim Simislaus, I can't pronounce that, Creeks. Years later, the dam was built and it changed everything for the town. Now, with an influx of professionals, artists and inventors living around the Sim-made lake, Twinbrook is experiencing a rebirth. How will life in this electric community turn out? So I have already made The Sims, so we're going to quickly check out the town and then I will show you guys The Sims. So here we are guys in Twinbrook. As you can see, there's the little green bridges and the lake and a little monument. I really like this town. It was one of the first ones to be created in The Sims 3 and I am a massive fan of it. I do enjoy it. So you've uh, kind of just got your industrial areas around here, then you've got the theatre over here. Uh, I think this is the scrapyard here. And then, yeah, your nice area with all the pools and stuff like that. And then your more downtown area with the fire station and things like that. Some other suburban areas. Um, this the science facility, maybe? I don't know. I have not played in Twinbrook for the longest time and then you kind of have like your marsh swamp areas and this is pretty much where we'll be living because we don't have enough money to live in the posh area, of course we don't, we never do when we first start these games. So I'm going to quickly hop into create a household and I'll show you guys the sims that I've created. Alright guys, so it's time for that part where I introduce you into The Sims. I want you guys to know that I did create these Sims around the careers that they would be going into. So I had in mind the career that I wanted them to go into and I kind of built The Sims around that and I really like them. I really like all The Sims that I've created for this Let's Play. I can tell that they're going to be fun. They're all going to be hilarious roommates because they do differ from one another. I can definitely see like who's going to be friends and who might be like the odd ones out and stuff like that. But as you guys probably know, Ambitions did come with nine careers and I am only going to focus on four out of five of them, kind of. I will be playing, well maybe like five because one of the Sims is going to have like two hobbies but... They'll both be showing off a new aspect of ambitions, but I'm going to show off the styling career, which is for stylists, and the sim that I wanted to do this was Bo Piper. He is fabulous. Let me just tell you now, I am going to have so much fun with him. I have a feeling he's just going to be so much fun. Um, I did just choose whatever outfits I felt like. It's not like one of those expansion packs that comes with loads of different outfits for your sims. Basically all it comes with are aprons that have like sculpting clay and paint over them and stuff like that. So I felt like I could just go all out and choose whatever fashions I really wanted for the sims. So that is what I did. So this is Bo Piper and he is going to be our stylist. I love him. His glasses are so trendy. His hair is gorgeous, he's he's going to be fabulous, I can just tell, and his personality, he is artistic, he is charismatic, he is dramatic, he is lucky, and he also has the photographer's eye. I'm not too sure if any of these came with ambitions, I'm trying to remember, oh yes, dramatic did. Everyday situations in life deeply stir the imagination, emotions and reactions of dramatic sims. So that definitely came with 
ambitions and he wants to be a fashion phenomenon. Reach level 10 in the stylist profession. It would be a crime if sims with fine style and keen fashion sense were to utilize their gifts only for themselves. If your sim yearns to make others more beautiful, to transform ugly ducklings into suave swans, then a career in the stylist profession is the only natural course. Trendy taste for makeup, hairstyles and fabric patterns are a must for any sim aspiring to reach the end of the fashion runway. So that is what I chose for his profession. His favourite food is grilled salmon, his favourite music is electronica and his favourite colour is lime green and this is his voice. Pablo Herbie. Okay. And then this is his astrological sign. He is an Aries. So that is Bo Piper. I'm going to have so much fun with him. I actually have never really focused on the styling career, so I am excited to do good. so. And then this is one of our female Sims. Her name is Ray McIntyre. And I kind of, I don't know if I got the look, but I kind of went for like a Lara Croft look. She kind of looks a bit like Megan Fox, but I just wanted her to be like a total badass, basically. So I based her off Lara Croft from Tomb Raider, if you guys don't know. But yeah, I really like her. She's a really fun Sim. And yeah, she's called Ray McIntyre and her personality. She is athletic, she is brave, she is good, she is handy, and she loves the heat. None of those actually came with ambitions, but they are good traits to have if she wants to become a firefighter superhero. So she wants to save 30 Sims lives on the job in the firefight pr profession, which I have done quite a lot in just off-screen gameplay, I love the firefighter career, it's one of my favourites. So yeah, I really like how hands-on it is. So the selfless act of saving another sim's life is one of the most exhilarating and rewarding accomplishments your sim can imagine. Only through rigorous training to bulk up the body will your sim have the fortitude and stamina to aid others. A sharp mind, brave heart and the ability to stay calm under pressure will be beneficial to the unending struggle of sim versus disaster. So this is Ray. Her favourite food is spaghetti. Her favourite music is indie music. And her favourite colour is yellow. And this is what she sounds like. Whipsy, Bonica too. She's kind of got like a husky voice. And her star sign is Aquarius. I was like, what is better for fighting fires than being a water sign. I'm fairly sure Aquarius is a water sign, right? I don't know. I might have gone for Pisces, but we'll keep it as Aquarius. They don't really affect them all too much. Next up, we have this handsome chap. He has two eyes that are different colours, which I really like. Hectochromia. I love these lenses. I'm obsessed. I can't remember where I got them from, but I wanted to use them on one of my Sims. So this is Charlie Piper. Charlie is going to be our ghost hunter. So we have focused on the stylist career, the firefighter career, and now the ghost hunting career, which again is another very hands-on job and I do have a lot of fun playing with it. So Charlie is adventurous. He dislikes children. He is eccentric, which actually came with ambitions. Eccentric sims have a natural ability when it comes to inventing crazy gizmos and whatchamacallits. I love that word. He is a genius and he's also a mooch. And he wants to be a paranormal profiteer. Oh, yeah, profiteer. Why did I say it so posh? Paranormal profiteer. Reach level 10 in the ghost hunter profession. Spectres, spirits, spooks, or shades, putting stray ghosts to rest is a great feeling. The comp complexity of interpreting paranormal patterns of activity will require dedicated study and attention to detail. Your sim must gather experience in all things logical in order to have any chance of understanding the complexities of the spirit world. So he's gonna have a tough challenge on his hands. His favorite food is chili con carne. His favourite music is soul music, and his favourite colour is spice brown, and this is what he sounds like. Thank you, sir. 
And he is a Leo, which the thing is a lion, so he is... I'm hoping he's gonna be brave, because he'd make a rubbish ghost hunter if he wasn't. And next up, we have the one and only Eva Cole. This is Eva right here. She's our colourful, crazy artist. Another two things, hobbies, I guess you could say, that came with ambitions that you can also get money for is the inventor career slash hobby and the sculptor one. So I wanted her to kind of be a mix of both. I wanted her to invent things and I wanted her to sculpt things and I love her. She's gonna be so fun. She's really quirky. She's got like this purpley blue hair with like dark plum tips and I just think she is gonna be so much fun. She is Eva Cole and her traits are artistic, eccentric, which obviously came with ambitions as I said before. She is a kleptomaniac, she is a perfectionist, and she has the savvy sculptor, which came with ambitions. Savvy sculptors know the ins and outs of sculpting masterpieces. These sims never fail at making the best sculptures around. Thanks for disappearing. And they'll benefit from a fine arts degree. I think I want to get rid of perfectionist and actually add in another trait that came with ambitions. I want to add in the eco-friendly because, you know, she's kind of like a hippie artist person and her clothes just give that kind of hippie-fied type thing. So yeah, I want her to be eco-friendly as well. That did come with ambitions. Eco-friendly sims prefer a lifestyle of energy conservation, recycling and sustainable eating. And we want her to be the descendant of Da Vinci, which came with ambitions, if you hadn't guessed. So basically, that means that she wants to master the inventing skill and she wants to master the painting and sculpting skills. It is said that a jack of all trades is a master of none, but your sim proves there can be exceptions. A brilliant artist with an eye for painting, ooh, my hand just went funny, the dexterity for sculpting and the genius for invention. No endeavour is out of reach to such a multi-talented individual. Shun the offerings of the outside world and instead, instead spend the days contemplating the canvas and the night's wooing images buried deep in the stone. Why leave just one legacy when you can leave behind dozens? So that's what she wants to do. Her favourite food is porcini risotto, her favourite music is beach party, and her favourite colour are, is orange, and this is her voice. Rips on Noopy. And then her sign, she is also a Leo, I want to change that. I'm going to make her a... I think we'll make her a Sagittarius. So yeah, those are our four sims. That's what we're going to focus on, five out of the new careers. And I think we'll just hop straight into game and I'll show you guys around. We'll choose our house and where we're living and we'll try and get into our careers. So here is the hard part, choosing where to live. This one right here is two bedroom and one bath, except I made the thumbnail in this house and I was not a fan of the layout, it's basically laid out like a caravan and I'm just not very fond of it. Of course once we get more money we can even try and move into one of these homes. I don't know if that's ever gonna happen for our sims but we can, we can try right? If you don't have hopes and dreams then what's the point? And that's a studio, there was another two bedroom, two bath, uh, one bath, I think it was this one but it's called nothing but deck. Let's check this one out. This looks like it's on a swamp. It is. This, how is this two bedrooms? Seriously? Oh, one bed, <laughs> one is basically outside and then you have the other one. I kind of want to live here. You know, it really, it gives the feel of we're like marshland people. I don't know, but <laughs> I kind of do want to live here. That's quite cute, but I can only see that being one bedroom, so I think we might go for this one. I know that the other one is probably the more traditional type of home, 
But you know what? Our sims are not traditional type of sims. I think we're going to go for this one, guys. We're going to be swamp people. Um, should we get unfurnished or furnished? I think I'm just going to go with furnished. Wow, that's pretty expensive, but we're going to go for furnished. So here we go. We're going to hop straight on into the game. Hopefully we can get them into their careers that they want today so we don't have to wait around and we can just start earning money straight away. Yep, we know that we have smartphones. I also know that the Weatherstone is about, you don't have to tell me. So he wants to join the stylist career. She wants to join the criminal career. No, girl, you are working from home. You are not joining a career. Okay, they have quite a while until they age up. She wants to join the firefighter career and he wants to join the ghost hunting career. Alrighty then, we should probably, um, we should, I want to check how much, like, the sculpting thing is. This is quite cool though, because, oh damn it, we don't have a shower. I might have to delete that bath and just add in a crappy shower for now. But I want to see how much, like, the sculpting table is and things like that. We do have 3,000 smolians, which isn't too bad to start out on. But let's go into entertainment and hobbies and skills. And then we want the drawing table. Where is it? If I could find it, that would be great. Where the heck is the sketching table? Okay, I think this is the sculpting one. Uh, yeah, I'm fairly sure that's it. But you can have like... I'm going to go on to ambitions. Where is ambitions? Here we go, okay. The drafting table is right here. I think we'll put, oh look, we've even got a little washing line. I don't know where to put this. I kinda wanna put it like out here, so I'm gonna move this bench over to here and then, cause this is a nice area to draw. Like, okay, maybe not. She's like looking over a dirt bank, but that's quite nice. You can see that in the view. And then what's this? Okay, the drafter's companion. Let's stick that there. And then let's get the cheapest one. Oh, it's still expensive. We're going to go for a dark wood one. And let's put that... Can that not go? Yep, it can. Oh, we only have 1,400 simoleons left. I think I want to get rid of this bathtub. I'm going to delete that and just get a shower. Because showers are so much quicker in The Sims. So here we go, bathroom, shower, give me showers. Oh, I need to go on to everything. Wait, no, not custom content. I just want to see everything. There. Whew, okay. And let's grab this one, just for now. You go in there. There we go. Sorted. Let's go find our careers. You are going to learn the sculpting skill. We may as well get that on that right now. We're going to practice with clay. Oh, it costs money as well. What the heck is this line that's happening right here? What is that? Is this like smog? I think it might be smog. Yeah, I don't know what that was, but... Okay, stop. You, you are not going to check out a new object. You are going to go join the firefighting career so let's see where everything is let's get myself used to this town because you guys know how much trouble I have this is a salon and tattoo so we are gonna join the stylist profession you my friend I think you need to go to city hall and I want you hmm okay maybe it's not city hall you don't want to join the architectural or lifeguard um, okay. Maybe the graveyard? Nope. I don't know where he has to go. Uh, law enforcement? No, we don't want to join the investigator, although that did come with ambitions. We are not focusing on that one. Where the hell does he have to go? I have no idea. I thought it would be City Hall, but clearly not. Um... Journalism? Nope. Don't want that. Maybe the science facility, actually. 
Where is the science facility? Ugh, I don't know where anything is. I don't like... I don't like moving into a new place. Okay, this is the science lab. And join Ghost Hunter Profession. How good am I? And then I think we will also attend... Oh, actually... Don't attend the logic class. We can read a book for half the price. So that's what we're going to do. And then where's the firefighting one? Eep. Where is it? Where's the firefighting career? Where's, where's the station? Where is it? You guys have probably all found it. Before me, it's... There it is. It's a lot harder to find in-game than when you're watching. Trust me. I used to watch a lot of Sims 3 Let's Plays and I always used to be like, it's right there, I can see it. But the Simmer would never listen to me. And now I, re oh, he's attracted to him. Oh my goodness. I kind of thought that was gonna happen. So yeah, Bo is attracted to Charlie and sorry, it's gonna take me a while to get used to all their names. And I should have probably turned off Full Moon for this game. Um, I'm gonna quickly do that now. So there we go. I just changed that, turned it off. I completely forgot that Supernatural is probably gonna have a little bit of trouble again with the moon phases, but that's fine. I can always change it and get back to normal. So uh, here she goes. She's off making her clay model. I want to see what she makes. It's only 9am and everyone's already getting jobs. How good are we? So he's going to become a tarot card reader. Ghosts and spirits are wandering out of their graveyards and the ca wandering out of their graveyards and the catacombs. Locals are terrified and children cannot sleep through the night. Who's the town to call? Ghostbusters. You, if you have a taste for a met for the metaphysical and the courage to combat the paranormal. Of course we do. Have you seen who we're talking to? At this level, don't be surprised if other sims don't take your profession seriously. Ghost hunting is a strict discipline that blurs the line between science and sci-fi. Good work and professionalism will go a long way in building respect for your expertise. Charlie Piper has received the official ghost hunting uniform and a banshee basher. Both are great tools for sending ghosts and spirits to the great beyond. And he now works from 5pm until 3am, so this is going to be a long let's play. Because we're basically going to have to play through the night. Um, firefighter career. Looking for a job that is challenging, interesting and well respected. Okay, yep, we want to be a firefighter. And she's got the new uniform and the new career related topic to discuss with the Sims. And... Fashion Fledgling. The town desperately needs a sim with a keen eye for detail and the ability to accessorise. Yep, that's what we want to do. So there we go. We just got all our careers. He has... You have to learn a lot to learn before sims really trust you. Okay. I think we're going to head on over to bow and see if we can start talking to people he wants to take on styling jobs he needs to earn and he needs to build a portfolio by the drafting table oh where are we going oh damn you mascot wrong let's play leave where even are you are you still in your car just go away we don't want you go away Lacey leave us alone we don't need university, we got professions without going. So, ha! Oh, wow. This looks like something out of Mulan. Oh my goodness, love. I love that skill already. If you can make things that remind me of a Disney film, I'm a fan. Right, we are going to compliment her fashion sense. Oh, go away, Portal. I'm just going to sell all of this stuff. Screw it. Selling you and selling you now please stop taking us back here because i'd quite like to focus on a sim there we go and we should discuss fashion we're gonna discuss fashion with everybody 
Oh, look, this kid wants to be restyled. When does he actually work? Can we just style him, like, right now? We can offer him a makeover. So we can just do it. Is he a stylist? I don't know. I don't know if this guy's just like, well, I'm going to give you fashion advice anyway. Might not be a stylist, but I'm going to do it. Oh, she's working out already. She is on it. And she has learned the sculpting skill, which is cool. That's exciting. And she's grasped the athletic. God, our sims are amazing. I literally don't have to do anything. He needs to work on his logic skill and investigate paranormal activity. How do we do that? I have no idea, but I think I'm going to start work on his logic skill. Um, we should probably buy a book. I forgot we can literally sell everything we own. Oh, actually, I want him to keep that. And you can sell that because you don't need it. And you don't need it either. Um, mister, I want you to start your logic. So I think we're going to buy you a tab cast so that you can start buying books. Where is the tab cast? One cannot remember. Multi tab, here it is. There we go. Not the tab cast, the multi tab. That's what I meant. We're going to shop. And we're going to listen to the Logic Tabcast. Oh, some neighbours have arrived. Hey, guys. Thanks for coming. We're going to... Oh, okay. I'll talk to you in a minute. But first, I kind of want to get all of the skill books we need. Um, so we will need those. We will need inventing. Um... What else will we need? We will need inventing, logic, how much... Oh my god, that's so expensive. I think we'll just go for those right now. There we go. And Mr... You come and talk to people. We're gonna invite everyone in. Because we do want to start making friends. I've got a feeling these will be really I don't like how there's fog on our floor <laughs> but I guess that's what you get for having living near a swamp that's what happens and Ray is already a level two here we go this is her finished product it looks like something out of Mulan how is that only worth six simoleons she has sculpted a rodent repellent okay cool and it's worth 36 millions. I want you to sell this, either. Sell this. What What's going on with these two? Bo, can... Oh, I kind of like this woman. Oh, she's criticizing us. I was like, oh, I kind of like her. She seems really nice. And then she criticizes us. Are you serious? We're going to compliment you because we're a nice person. And we're going to tell a dramatic story. <laughs> He's having, like, a proper friendly chat with her. We're going to discuss fashion. And we're going to tell her a joke. And, oh, he wants to get to know us better. Calm down, mate. We only just moved in. What else should we do? Uh, we're going to get to know her a little bit. Ray is still working out. She's super stinky, though. Ray, after you finish working out, you can come home. Or you can just come home right now. She wants to put out a fire. We will do that very soon. As soon as she goes into work, pretty much, she'll have a call, hopefully, and we'll be able to put out the fire. So, yeah, she is heading home. She should probably take a shower before she talks to anyone because she's going to have green grossness flying around her. Why don't you talk to Simbad about the heat? Simbad has cool tattoos. He looks like a tattoo artist. 
which did come with gener uh, generations? Ambitions. I'm probably going to say it came with generations for so long because I was so used to my generations let's play, which is probably going to get annoying, but oh well. I'm sure you guys will know what I mean when I say it. I mean ambitions. Are you always in this good of a mood? <sighs> Dude, calm down. Why does she need to get inside? I have no idea. Scrap that draft. I want you to start doing it. Oh, actually, what? Oh, no, she wants inventing, didn't she? Do you need a special table for inventing? I'm not too sure, but I want to give them all... You need handiness, and you need inventing, so we're going to give those to you. And I just want you to start learning. Actually, where the hell did you get that? Where did you get a brownie from? You may as well eat it, because I would. Brownies are good, but I have no idea where... Did, dude, did you just, like, did someone offer you that brownie? Because if someone offered you that brownie, I would not eat it. I... I don't think you should eat it, but Charlie, it's up to you. Do what you want, my friend. Oh no, we haven't- oh, we do. We have laundry. Okay, we're gonna put this straight into the machine. Laundry did come with ambition, so I apologize if there are gonna be piles and piles of clothes in this house, because there will be, we know it. And I completely forgot that they kind of probably don't want double beds. They should all want their own. I think I'm just going to put girls with girls and boys with boys because it's the easiest option to make things match and stuff like that. But I don't know which ones to get. I don't want really expensive beds. I think we'll just go for these. So yeah, I'm just going to get two of these. We're going to put that there. We're going to change you around. And we're gonna get another one right. Um, do, do, do. Can this go here? No, it can't. We might have to get rid of it unless we put it there. Boom! I am an interior designer. I will change up their rooms, but this is just for now. Next time, the rooms will have changed because I'll just do that off screen because it takes me a hell a long time to do everything. Let's get two more of these bad boys for the boys and another one right there. There we go. Sorted. I will do up their rooms a little bit more like change the interior and stuff like that. What, what the? Ray what are you doing? She's Don't slap us. We will slap you Sinbad. We will slap you. I have no Problem in slap. What is wrong with this guy? He's insulting us. He's slapping us and apparently he's also in love with us And this guy's giving us flowers What the hell? You, you, Eva, what are you doing to these men? You're playing with their emotions He's quite nice though. Goodwin Why would you name your child Goodwin good? What the hell? I have no idea, but he apparently likes us. He gave us flowers. He's literally known us five seconds, and he's giving us flowers, so Eva must be doing something right. She wants to join the sculptor career, which you can do. You can register as self-employed, I'm fairly sure. Is Bo still... Bo is still talking to this old lady. She's amazing. I love her. I want her to be Bo's best friend. Like... I always do this. I always find a person that I want my sims to be friends with in like the first part and I just I just I just want it to happen. I'm a fan of their friendship. Okay, so we can register as self-employed sculptor or I think artist as well. We might I think we'll just do that now. We're going to register as a sculptor. We will also do other things, of course, but sculpting I kind of want her to be her main passion, so sculpting it is. That's what we're going to register as self-employed as. Oh look, this guy's even doing our washing for us. He lives up to his name. He is good. Goodwin good, you are good. 
He's even doing our washing. And then we drew like dry it on the line and live like swamp people and it's gonna be fun. I'm gonna love it. She wants to improve her sculpting skill, which we can do. Oh, she's wasting natural resources from driving alone. Bless her. She cares about the environment. He is small talk. He's so not impressed with anyone. I want you to start reading the logic. You may as well start reading it. She, he's just gonna sit on the girl's bed and read. I wanna set all their beds. Sculptor. Professional sculptors work diligently on their craft and desire to make valuable masterpieces, whether in clay, wood or stone. The professional sculptor aims to finish each piece to perfection and move on to the next big thing. Responsibilities for this career is merely to sk sell sculptures. I bet you guys would have never guessed. So that's what we're going to do. She is self-employed. Score. So basically she just has to earn money. And she only has to earn 50 simoleons to get a promotion. Which she can pretty much do now I guess. We're going to come home though. Bo, stop talking to Marigold. I do love her, but I kind of want you to come home. Oh, our washing's done. We're going to move the clothes to the clothes line. Let them dry off a bit. But I am actually going to end this part here, guys, because it's been quite a while. And I always do this with the first parts of Let's Plays because I get so into it, like, straight away. But I think this is going to be a really fun Let's Play. All the characters are so different. We've already started making friends and stuff like that, so it's going to be really fun and I hope you guys are all looking forward to it. If you like this first part, please do give it a big thumbs up because it lets me know that you guys want to see more of this Let's Play and are enjoying it. So definitely do that if you did like this part and you are looking forward to this Let's Play. I want you guys to leave who you think is going to be your favourite sim in this let's play down below. I want to see your comments because I I really like all of the sims but I want to see who's your personal favourite. So you should leave that down below in the comment section who you think is going to be the most entertaining and who you're most looking forward to seeing develop throughout this let's play. Thank you all so much for watching and for your constant support. I love you all so much and I will speak to you all in my next video. Bye guys!